Hey guys, okay, so I wasn't going to do a video on this, but this rod is a favorite of someone and they wanted it fixed. And it originally started out, a couple of the guides were broken. And as I got looking at it, they're broken, they're corroded. And, but this, it's a pistol grip of a sort. And this gentleman really likes this rod. So I started cleaning it up so far. I'm going to do a total repair on this, this one. Um, this was, my hands are dirty from working on it, but this was really dirty. I cleaned that up. I'm trying to clean up around the reel seat. I'm trying to clean this grip. But you can see this reel seat. I'm going to show you before and after. Um, the hood on this thing is supposed to be gold. But it's really corroded. And you can see the shape of the rest of the rod. Dull. Dirty. The... Um, thread wrap is coming to pieces and drying and cracking away you can see how basically what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to take all these guides off and replace these guides so I'm showing you what this rod looks like now oops and then I'll show you what it's going to look like when I get done. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to bring this rod back to life. Okay, so I'm back on this uh, rod repair, this bionic rod repair. It ended up being a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Because as I was working on it, I noticed that... The grip was like moving around more than it should have. Well, come to find out, right about in here somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, um, the blank was broke underneath the reel seat. So, had to get that apart, clean it up really good, and stick it back down in here and glue it really, really good. And then this part down here, the EVA was loose <clears throat> from the, um, the blank. So I had to slide it back as best I could and put a bunch of um, rod glue there too so I could glue it back together. And then down here, you can see it. I still got it in the rod rubber. I put a... Uh, butt cap on it and I wasn't going to mess with this because they over the lifetime of this rod they have made repairs themselves the owner I cleaned this up the best I could with my Dremel Dremel comes in really handy um clean this cork sealed it and replaced all the guides, which was probably about the easiest part. Um, because you just, well, let me get up to a guide. I'm sitting here talking about guides and I'm not even looking at a guide. Uh, um, cut off all the guides, replaced all the guides with um a thread that color that used to be on there with its gold trim bands trying to keep it close to original and when i this is kind of a small aggravation to me which it, it ends up not being a very big deal I don't know why this is not focusing good. good. Probably because I keep moving around. Um, but people try to replace their own um, 
chip chops, which is fine, but there's a kind of a stick of glue that comes with these tip kits, tip top kits, and if you use anything other than that, like a lot of people like to use super glue, um, that ends up being a bit of a problem when you take it to somebody to repair it. Because a lot of times, not always, <clears throat> but a lot of times, you end up having to cut the tip top off and you lose about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch at the tip of the rod just so you can get the tip top off. But luckily, I didn't lose that much at all. I probably lost maybe half an inch on this because I ended up, I couldn't get the, the tip top all the way off because it was glued on there. And all the amount of trying I did, did not get it off. So I ended up having to saw it off real, real, real close to the uh, base of the tip top. But all in all, this turned out pretty good. I mean, you're never going to get it back to brand new. You can do the best you can. But it looks a heck of a lot better than it did when I got it. And I did the um, trim bands around here, too. And the little bit of thread color that they had put in originally. But... Let me see, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, just know sometimes when you get started on a rod repair that you think is going to be as simple, something, uh, it doesn't always end up being that way. But hey, that's all I got to um, say about this rod repair. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope y'all all have a great day. God bless. Tight lines. And see y'all on the next one.